Hello again everyone and welcome back to The Witcher 3. We are back here in Lulich, I think it's called. Um, I do apologize for the last episode once again, guys. My um, devices on my computer are having an absolute uh, shit fit at the moment, to, to, to put it politely. So um, hopefully they, 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 they remain stable in this one. Uh, but we'll see. It could all go wrong again. I don't, I don't really have a way of co correcting it on the fly, unfortunately. Um, but, uh, yeah, so we did get a quest in the last episode. Um, can't unlock that. Um, to check out some pigs. It was called Fool's Gold, I believe. Uh, level 6 as well. It's called it's, it's called Lurch, not, not Lurch. So I need to examine the pigs in the village of Lurch. So during his travels through Velen, Geralt survived many bizarre adventures, but few more memorable than that which I will now recount. For who would have thought a routine stop in a village strangely empty, save a few bandits arguing with a local dunce, would end in such a curious fashion? The witch surely didn't, though he did have his suspicions. So, this was when um, some bandits roasted this guy's favourite pig. And now he's claiming that the reason everyone in the village has disappeared is because the pigs are magical? Apparently. Apparently that's the okay. Here we go. Right, examine the pig. Pig by the looks of it, but my medallion's going wild. Yon takes right. They're enchanted. Yeah, definitely magic. Enchanted pigs. Why? Why does Lurch have enchanted pigs in its village? I'd, I. I. I don't think it's an it's an unreasonable question to be asking. Like, honestly, enchanted pigs. Why? Oh, there is there's a herd of doe as well, which is different. Yeah. Definitely. More enchanted pigs. They're all inside the house. I'm gonna uh, now. Obviously, I might be thinking fairy tales here. But if I'm going to make a prediction, I'm going to say that this village w was initially populated by human residents, and I think everyone's been turned into a pig. Again, I don't know that for sure, but I'd say if there's any logical explanation, it's not logical at all, but if there's any sort of ex uh, explanation that I could personally jump to, Um, okay, I'm a little bit suspicious of you now, uh, my guy. Why were you, why were you, uh, tr casting a spell there? I'll, I'll get to you. I'll get to you in one second. Because, yeah, I'm, I'm very, very suspicious. The damning thing about that is that if these people have been turned into pigs... A human that tur that turned into a pig just got roasted. Yeah, that's 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 pretty scary, actually. Right, okay, Yontek, I I think you've got a little bit of explaining to do. Yontek. Hi. About the pigs. The pigs, they do seem to be magic. Aye. Cause, uh, cause of the, cause of the sorcery, it done turned them all that way. So those pigs, they used to be humans. Oi, what did you think? Help them, turn them back. One of them literally just got roasted. That is horrifying. Um, what turned the people into pigs? What changed the people into pigs? Twer magic. I done gave Igor the key, he gathered them all, off the went. What key is this? A key? The key to yes, what? Here. Opens the hog hat, that does. Okay. Look at that guy's face. Where'd you get the key? Where'd you get the key? <laughs> I found it. Showed it to Igor, right? And he told all the folks to go. Then they was changed. Okay, I'll look around this hog hut then. Need to take a closer look at the uh, hog 
Urquhart. Where is it? Why, it's that way, past the hill. You walk and walk, and then you're there. Got it? I'll find it. Certainly will. Find the hog hut. This guy is giving me bad vibes. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm very, very suspicious about, about this dude, I'm not going to lie. Um, okay. Let's get a roach on the scene. And let's go to this hog hut. We'll take the road, because it, it's, it's quite close to, to, to the Riordan Manor, which we need to cleanse as well. So we'll, we'll yeah, we'll head to the hog hut first. Which we'll, we'll try and just get two birds with one stone That's here, it, I think. Roach. Oh, they're, uh, they look like knackers. Better not take a roach too close to those. Yep, they are knackers. Lovely. Holy mother of God. Oh my Christ. Oh Jesus. Oh, there's so many of them. They're all a-jumping. They're all... They won't stop a-jumping. Can you all please stop? I'm getting pounded right now. Not a word... Not a phrase that I ever thought I would really see. Uh, say, sorry. Right, yeah, I wouldn't. I would rather not. Um, I'd rather not get involved in that ever again. Thank you. Like Neckers are, uh, you know, no, they're not fun. No, they're. I mean, they're pests in a way, but at the same time, they they're very unpleasant pests, aren't they? They're not. They're not nice. I don't like them. Is that another enemy? Is it another Necker or is it a wolf? Could be either. It's a Necker. Luckily, the Neckers can't really block, so. Dead Crow as well, interestingly. There's a lot of random dead animals. Okay. Just to check, by the way, my mutagens, are they the best they can be? Well, I only have one. And that's plus 50 vitality. Um, shit. Uh, Maybe shouldn't have taken that off. Plus 50 vitality, plus 5% psi intensity, attack power, vitality. Psi intensity, attack power. Yeah. We'll just stick with the vitality, I think. Vitality is always, always a solid, um... Whoa. A solid... Whatchamacallit. Option. Um... There's like another little village up to the, no up to the northeast, which we haven't really looked in either. Velen is full of absolute nonsense. Like, put it that way, it's full of nonsense. Hey there. Oh, hidden treasure. Nice. Ghouls. Ghouly ghouls. Hello there. Stop it. Just keep on the attack against these dudes, we'll be fine. Keep our wits about us. The thought of parrying ghouls is very strange to me, but it, it works. Like, it generally does work. Beautiful. Come on. Come on. Come here. Come here. Mooshurst. Or Mooshurst. I don't know how you pronounce this. It looks like another bereft village. Genuinely, it looks like another village that's just completely just dry of any, dry of any life, which is is not nice by any stretch of the imagination. Ow! Can you not? Like, can you not? Ow! Axe you, and that is a couple more ghouls dead. Okay, so we so we have treasure here, allegedly. Yeah, this village is completely burnt out. Oh god! Oh, oh, jeez! Oh no. Oh no 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 no. No no I'm not a fan. Lesser glyph of Igni, nice. Uh Beehive Gal Ugh. Let's not get stung. Um This is hot so well, I've just gotta be very honest. This is awful. This is absolutely dire. Um so the so the treasure seems to be underground somewhat. I don't know how to get there. Um there might be a tunnel, potentially. This looks like it's got like a little structure to it. I don't know. Got a marker for a bandit camp now as well. There's a lot of... 
There's a lot of potential here, isn't there? Let's just do like a little run round of this sort of area that this village seems to be built on. Blood moss, that sounds dangerous. Um, because of course, if there is any sort of entrance or anything like that, then we'll, we'll make use of it. It doesn't look like there is, though. So I'm curious, how does one how does one actually reach this uh, this 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 treasure? Ah, ah ha ha! Add, rolling, 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 and here we are. There's the dead body here. Key to treasure chest, crumpled notes, and a smoking pipe. Right, soldiers have come, whether ours or theirs, don't know. Don't really matter anymore. I heard them riding down the road, hid, nailed the door shut, maybe they won't get in. They spent the whole night killing and raping, I saw all through the cracks in the wall. Bit my fingers to the bone, trying to keep from screaming. Don't know if anyone else managed to hide, maybe not. I saw them drag Antosh out. He had hid in the fields, next to the haystack where he'd snatched his things. They, f they flailed him. They've heard me, know I'm here. I didn't open up when they pounded. I thought they'd, I thought they'd burn me out, just like they did those who hid in the granary. Then they got on their horses, rode off. Quiet now. All I can hear um, is the flies circling the bodies. Uh, I tried to knock, knock open the door, open the window, dig myself out, make a hole in the wall of the roof. Nothing doing. I heard people who came to rob corpses. Don't know of what. All's left is salt shirts and foot wrappings. I called for help. They didn't answer. Only ones will come now, the ghouls. Ugh. So it's the dead, the dead man's hiding place using your witcher senses. Sure. I can do that. That's awful, by the way. That is, that is... What a way to die, just... Well, yeah, I mean, starved to death, didn't he, really? That's that's the only explanation. Imagine just... Just being trapped down here, though. It's a... Horrifying thought. Stop it with the goddamn... Um... It, See, it says search. Yeah, it says search using your Witcher senses. So was the was there like a path down there which I didn't see? So oh, I accidentally picked something up there. Um, where am I? Where was that entrance? Here it is. So this was the dead man's hiding place. But there doesn't seem to be any way out. Or any side passage or anything else. It's just... Yeah, it's just nothing really, is it? Like, he did say that, that there was a stash. And it, he had hidden the fields next to the haystack where he'd stashed his things. That could be where we need to go to. Let's go onto these fields. I mean, I'm assuming. Uh, well, what would you even call these fields? I, I, I wouldn't call these fields, not gonna lie. Oh, haystack. Kind of. Kind of a haystack. Here we go. Beautiful. So we've got a mag deer, a cuirass, horse blinders, redanian lager, and dwarven spirits. What is that cuirass? It looks like a big beefy, beefy cuirass. That's heavy armor. It's a level 6 one. Uh, definitely better than the one we have. Uh, so I will equip that. Obviously, like I said, with the fact that it's heavy armor, I don't know if that's going to probably make me slower. But it's still nice. And I can beef it up a little bit as well, can't I? So we've got Igni sign, and we've got an Axie sign. Let's let's do Igni. Let's do Igni. That's fine. Uh, we didn't... Did we put anything which boosted our... If we can find this. Boosted our thing if we're wearing light armor. Each piece of light armor increases acrylic damage. Hmm. That's fine. We'll leave it like that, considering we are still obviously wearing quite a bit of light armor. But, um, yeah. Okay. So that was an interesting little, little diversion once again. Uh, another bandit camp too, that we can hopefully go and deal with. Once again, save the game. I don't know, don't know what level these bandits are at right now. Pretty 
pretty decent level, that's fine. Oh god. I think we just lo we just yeeted an explosive barrel into into, into somebody there. Alright, keep fast attacking. Damn. What's that in the background? Oh god, is that a drowner? You can't block all of my blows. Now you're in trouble. Straight through the chest. Sorry, my good sir, but uh, yeah, you, you, you had it coming. You, you, you had it coming big time, didn't you? Okay, plenty of nice bits of loot here and there. Alright, let's loot whatever these bandits have. Plenty of crafting items and bolts. Can't say no to that. We don't really use the crossbow much, but it, it, it could come in useful. We just have to remember it's there. Which is something that there is a good chance I will forget to do. It's it's just the way I operate. Okay, so let's let's go to let's focus on the fool's gold quest for the for the moment. Um, let's go to, let's go to the hog hut. I am honestly baffled as to what I'm even going to find there, uh, but I'm sure it'll be interesting. Like that guy back in the village just gives me really really bad vibes. Like. The fact that I literally saw him casting magic does make me think he's, he's up to something. Exactly what, I don't know, but, um... But yeah, it's, it's, it's a strange one, I'm not gonna lie. Although when he says hog cut, it, could, it could mean a witch's hut. Thinking about it. Could mean that, couldn't it? Slow now. Okay, Roach, you can you can go. This is looking a bit dicey. Is that a wolf? It's a wag. It's an angry little wag. Oh, it appears it appears the wag has summoned the has summoned the troops to say the least. Yeah, yeah, he definitely summoned the troops. Wasn't much good, but still. Is this the so-called Hog Hut? Bandits, eh? Come on, come closer. It's quite curious about those bandits there. I don't know why there would be bandits. Like, I expected to potentially find a witch or something along those lines, but bandits? Don't know. Weird. Seems very weird to me. Okay, what is this place? <laughs> New marker. Entrance. That's all it says. All it says is entrance. Right, there's definitely people over there. Right, after he dealt with the bandits and talked to the fool, Yontek, he set about visiting the village's huts and the pigs who dwelt in them. Yes, that's right, pigs. Garrett quickly realised they were not merely farm animals running amok while their masters were away. After all, in this time, Velen was gr was gripped by famine and people had long ago eaten all domestic animals. The pigs were, in fact, the cursed inhabitants of the villages themselves. With Yontek's help, Garrett started to investigate this curious matter. I think I think a curious matter is putting it quite lightly. I'm not gonna lie, it's a uh, it's 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 a uh, frankly bizarre matter. Who are these guys? Well, whatever's been going on here, I'm not happy about- Oh my god, we are surrounded. Hold on a second. Just remember, don't try and parry the guys with the pole arms. It won't end, it won't end well. I mean, Geralt's just, just straight up badass in these guys. Yeah. Yeah, they were. They they stood no chance, did they? Okay, so what exactly were these bandits doing here? Is 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 a question that I have. Can I? Key fits after all. Oh yeah. Okay, the fact that the fact that this this 
supposed dunce has a has an arcane key like that is a bit weird to me. Doesn't seem normal. Right, what's in here? Okay, uh, we're gonna end this episode here, guys. Next episode, we'll press on further into this hog hut and um, see what we find. So, thank you very much for watching, guys. Hope you all have enjoyed. Have a wonderful day. Bye bye.